Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to make a texture seamless with the light balance technique. So let's say you find a nice texture with nice amount of details and you really like it, but the problem is that you have a very bright areas like in this example over here and a very dark areas over here. And if you try to do it before, uh, you probably know that it's very hard to make a texture seamless with this amount of contrast and very hard to blend between a very bright areas and dark areas. So let's see how the light balance technique work. So it goes like this. The first thing that I want to do is to select this layer and press Ctrl J on my keyboard twice to make two copies. Now I select the copies and press Ctrl G on my keyboard to make a group. And now I want to hide the top layer inside the group and to select the bottom layer. And now I will go with to filter blur and average and Photoshop and Photoshop will create a solid color from the uh, average color value on this layer and now I want to unhide the top layer and to select it and I want to put it on a blending mode which is linear light and the second thing is to put the opacity on 50% like this very cool and now the third thing, the third thing that I want to do is go to filter, other, and high pass. So now this is the tricky part because as you can see, uh, this is pretty much the lowest value on the radius um, in the high pass filter, uh, and it's pretty much look like a solid color, which it is. And as you can see, when I bump up the radius value you can see that I reveal details from the original texture but why it's so tricky because there is no fixed value for all the textures because every texture is different you have a different color and a different contrast between each, each texture so you want to find a sweet spot but uh, you need to eyeball it um, I will go with the value which is not uh, too low because I don't want to lose too much information and I don't want to go too high because if I will go too high uh, as you can see I reveal uh, all the information from the original texture and I have the problem again with the bright areas and the dark areas and I want to make it more even so I need to find the sweet spot and to eyeball it um, let's see I think 170 is good so I press OK and as you can see I have now a very nice texture with nice amount of details and uh, let's compare between the two I hide the group and as you can see this is the original texture with the dark areas and the bright areas and now I have this texture with very uh, balanced light and um, it looks very good with nice amount of details Let's compare again. Very nice. So let's quickly try to make it seamless. I will press Control Alt Shift E uh, to make a new layer from all this stack. Um, and now I will go, I select the top layer, of course, and go to Filter, Other, and Offset. And uh, let's select the repeat edge pixels and I want to put this corner pretty much in the center uh, that's fine I think uh, I switch again to wrap around and press OK and as you can see it's already looks pretty nice but of course I have this seam and now I want to uh, make it seamless with the the classic method of the with the clone uh, I press alt to sample this area and I start to make it looks like this pretty much I'll do it quickly for uh, this tutorial I think this will be fine uh, 
let's uh, see over here. Uh, it's pretty much. It's look pretty much. It's look good. Yeah, I think it's pretty much good. Um, yeah. So let's uh, offset it one more time. I go to filter, other, and offset again. Um, and as you can see, it's look pretty much okay. You can't really see the seams. Um, and now you have it. So uh, please thumbs up if you like the video and leave a comment below. Um, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.